I said an open contract. I signed it. I put it on and right in front of Gary Hart. I said, Chris Adams, anytime, any place, any stipulation you want, just give me the match. Well, he wants country whipping match. That means both men go into the ring with a leather strap and use it on the other man any way they want. So I went ahead and signed the match. Mr. Adams, you got yourself a deal. Okay. The action does not stop there, however. Vic Tag coming up with uh, Dr. Death William involved. Well, now that guy's well, he's a great football player and a great wrestler from Oklahoma. And uh, I'm looking forward to you. Know, I don't know a whole, a whole lot about We have a visitor. Yeah. I don't know a whole lot about him, but I'll give him everything I got. Hey, one thing I want to touch on, too. Uh, what happened to Tommy Rogers is the same thing that happened to Billy Jack. He was injured. It was deliberate. There's a the guy right outside the ring right there. He's hurt. I'm putting down a match. I'm putting down a challenge for the Midnight Express. Are you listening, Cornette? Anytime I want a match against any of your men. You got that? Okay, world title now, Texas Stadium. All right. Now, let me kind of go back for some of you folks that might not have seen the thing. I had, I had Ric Flair. I had reversed a figure four leg lock. I don't mean to get real technical. I'd reversed a, t a figure four leg lock, and I had him in a submission position. Now, his head was underneath the ropes. I didn't see that, and I got counted out by the referee. One, two, three. So I, uh, man, I want that belt. You know, I've wanted it for a long time. You know how I feel about it. My little brother, Kerry, won it right in the middle of the ring. So I told him, I said, Ric Flair, you're a disgrace to that belt. You're, you're nothing. You, you got to get in there and give me another chance. Well, I turn my back, and of course, Ric Flair comes in, hits me from behind, but I'm in shape. I reverse it on him, turn it around, and I pinned him, Mark. I pinned him one, two, three. Oh, I remember a lot of folks thought you had the belt. Well, I, I walked out with the belt, but, the, uh, but I couldn't keep it. But I'll tell you this. The NWA has watched the match, and I will get a rematch. They said there has to be a rematch, and it's going to be May 5th in Texas Stadium. All right, I hope that's a good luck spot for the Von Erich. Well, it will be, and I'm Mark, this is my day. Let me tell everybody this. It takes a whole lot to be a world champion. My little brother, Kerry, did it, and we all love him for it. Well, now it's my turn, and folks, I'm going to do it. Okay, Kevin Von Erich now giving way to Jim Coronet, who I know is going to have some crack about this plaid jacket, but here he is. Big tag bout coming up this week on your mind, I know. Oh, well, first of all, real briefly, you know, Friday night in Dallas, a country whipping match between Kevin Von Erich and Chris Adams, and I've never seen one of those kind of matches, and I'm going to be real interested in seeing one of the Von Erichs get the whipping that he deserves. Are you listening, Kevin Von Erich? Now, the Midnight Express will be there, too. It'll be a real fun night for all concerned, but now, you know, <laughs> I, was, I was sitting back here watching the monitor, and I heard the fantastic, I heard him talking about how Tommy Rogers' his arm is hurt. Tommy Rogers' his arm is hurt, and, it, and he can't wrestle, and he can't feed his family. And I want to apologize to everybody. Please look me right in the eye. I'm sorry that we hurt your shoulder, and I, we didn't mean, and I apologize for hurting your shoulder. We meant to break your shoulder. That's what we meant to do, and that's the funniest thing that I've ever seen in my life. The sight of him out here with that gimpy arm and tears running down his face, the story that he told a sorrow and woe would bring a tear to a glass eye, and the only thing that ever brought another tear to my eye was seeing that jacket right there. Now, let me tell you something. Fantastic. Ever since that I've been coming here, I've been hearing you talk about you want to represent the people of Texas. You want the people of Texas to look up to you to be something, a symbol or something like that. Well, Tommy Rogers, if you can't wrestle and if you can't feed your family, then why don't you do what all these other Texas people do when they can't feed their family? And that's getting a welfare line in the soup line, in the bread line, just like all the rest of the trash. I'm Mark Lorenz. That's what he ought to do. And let me tell you this, Fantastics, every time they wrestle us, they have to go to bed for three days. But I promise you this, it didn't end here, and it's not going to end until Monday night in Fort Worth. We're going to take care of you once and for all. We're going to get those American Tag Team Championship back, and no pencil pusher behind a desk or no referee is going to take them away, and no Mickey Mouse two-bit tag team is going to run us around. We're going to have the American Tag Team Championship, and you're going to be in the welfare line with all the rest of these Texans that you love so much. All right, Jim Coronet, who evidently doesn't realize St. Patrick's 
day was last Sunday. Here's Gary Hart. Next Friday night in Dallas, Texas, Sunshine said that she looked all over for this Hercules Hernandez and that Hercules Hernandez can handle any kind of action. Well, Hercules Hernandez, what you have in front of you stands six foot nine, 460 some pounds. A man who we're gonna prove just in a few moments that even the iron claw of the great Kerry Von Eric cannot drop him to his knees. Let me say this to you, Sunshine. You're a very pretty lady and you have a lot of knowledge about the wrestling business. But when you think that Hercules Hernandez is gonna handle the one-man gang, I think it's gonna be a very short stay in the state of Texas. And Chris Adams, I haven't forgot you either, brother. Gary Hart reminding Chris Adams of his uh, long memory. Also having a great deal of confidence regarding the Iron Claw situation, which we'll all be seeing here a little bit later. Stay with us now. Don't forget the Iron Claw. Fernandez now, who's particularly excited about this country whipping bout coming up in Dallas. I'd like to say first, Monday night, you know, sunshine, that little good no good sleeve bag. It said she's come up with somebody to take care of yours truly, the gorgeous one. Gino Hernandez. Well, let me tell you right now, it's the end of all, man. She's got this geek hippie she's got called Hercules Hernandez. Well, let me tell you right now, Sunshine, if you think I'm intimidated by this worthless, I don't know where you found this geek, but I'm not concerned with him. Come Monday night, you had better start looking for another person because he's gonna fall by the wayside just like Billy Jack and everybody else you've ever had come to supposedly get rid of me. I'm still standing here. I'd also like to say, I told you about Dr. Death. Dr. Death, he first showed all you people what he's all about last week here. Well, he's teaming up with my partner, my best friend, Chris Adams, who's finally seen the light against Kerry and Kevin. And you know, I hear Kevin out here talking about Dr. Death, talking about how what a great football player, great wrestler, trying to be Mr. Nice Guy. Well, the truth of the matter is, Kevin Von Eric, you're trying to find yourself an early excuse when you're left laying in the middle of the ring Monday. But now, what you were talking about, Friday night, Kevin Von Eric and my brother, so to speak, Chris Adams, in this so-called country whipping match. Well, I'll say to you, Kevin Von Erich, I'll say to your father, Fritz Von Erich, I haven't forgot the time you, Fritz Von Erich, whipped me in a ring in Dallas, Texas. Well, I never got a chance to get even because like the coward you are when I showed up in Texas Stadium last year, you retired. Well, the second best thing is, I went out and found a strap thicker than my Texas heavyweight belt for Chris Adams to whip your son, Kevin Von Eric. And it's gonna be just as good a revenge because like I said, Fritz, I never forgot the time you put a strap to me. I might not be able to put one to you, but I'm gonna contribute to your oldest son getting the beating of his life Friday night in Dallas. All right. Remember, I am your champion. And we're glad you reminded us of that. Remember now, the country whipping bout is where each man is given a long leather strap. They're not tied together now. They're just handed the strap, and they can use that as they please during the bout. Now, the cheers you hear are for the lovely sunshine, and boy, we're all impressed. Well, Mark, I'd like to get down to business. People are getting hurt and I don't like it. Men, decent men, in this sport don't like it, and these good people don't like it. Now everybody who was here Monday night saw my man, Hercules Hernandez, and they know he's not here to fool around. He's here for a purpose, and that's why Monday night he's gonna face that goof, Gino Hernandez, and Friday night he's gonna face the big man, one man gang. Now I'm looking forward to that one especially. And Mr. Hart, 
You'll hear no protest from me if you're at ringside because I want to see your reaction. Now, we could have started with lesser opponents, but Hercules came here to help me clean up wrestling, and we're going to start at the top with the big boys. We're going to get down to business, and I'm looking forward to Monday night, Gino Hernandez, Friday night, the one-man gang. Hercules going to show him a thing or two right here in the ring. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you, Sunshine. So, what a pleasure always to talk to Sunshine. We'll look forward to the actions of her man, Hercules Hernandez, coming up here Monday night and again in Dallas Friday. Now, as I've been telling you during the telecast tonight, the Freebirds have some comments regarding 10-man tag action at Texas Stadium. We have those comments on tape for you at this time. Oh, baby, you know, they're talking about it. The second annual, the biggest thing in professional wrestling history last year. It's going to be even bigger this year. May 5th. That's right, baby. May 5th, Texas Stadium. And you know who's already sad? You looking at him. Bad street and bu -bu 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 bad to the bone, baby. And we ain't t -t -t teasing, you understand? They got the big match, bam, bam. So ten man's going to take two rings to get it done. And whoa! A lot of money involved. I don't know who the other two partners going to be, but it ain't going to matter. Well, I don't care who it is. But like you said, it don't matter. It don't matter. We're coming to kick and we're coming to rock and roll just like we did the last time in Texas Stadium. We're going to tear the whole stadium apart. And like I said, we're coming to kick some <laughs> And I want to say something. I want to thank the Mask Rebel for taking my place because I couldn't make it the last time. And you know what? He said that I am his idol. Well, I want to tell you, I have not changed. Things are all the same for the Freebirds. That's right, baby. You know, last time I was there, y'all weren't there. I was kicking Gino Hernandez all around the ring, man. I mean, like, I beat you up. And Chris Adams, you stuck your nose in it. Well, let me tell you something. When you get froggy and you feel like leaping and you feel like jumping, because I don't know who died and left you boss, okay? But now my brothers are going to be with me at the biggest thing in professional wrestling history, Texas Stadium, May 5th. And we are b -b bad to the bone, and we are naughty, and like I said, we ain't t -t teasing. Now, I don't know who the other two partners are going to be, but all I'm concerned about is getting ourselves right there, Texas Stadium, May 5th. Two rings, man. Can you imagine it's going to take two rings to get it done? But we'll get it done. I can't, yeah, wait. I can't either, baby. I can't either, baby. 